original 77 pi over 3 and subtract off 12 2 pi's because that's 12 whole times around the circle. Okay, so let's figure out how many that is.
And I looked at them and went, what? But they did it anyway. So let's say I want to convert. Let's skip, um, skip past these for a second. We want to go convert 2 pi over 3 from radians to degrees. So I have 2 pi over 3 radians. I need to multiply this by something so that I get rid of my radians and I am left with degrees. Radians is in the numerator. What fraction would I need to multiply it by so that radians would be in the denominator? Yeah, I would need degrees over radians. And that would put 180 over pi. And then I can multiply across 2 pi times 180 is 360 pi. 3 times pi is 3 pi. The pi's become 1. 360 divided by 3 is 120. And the radians in the numerator and the radians in the denominator cancel, and I'm left with degrees. One of the reasons that I encourage this as opposed to the other is, can you have a pi in your degree answers? Yes, pi is just a number. It's possible to have that number in your degree answers. And by doing it this way, if the pi's don't cancel out, that's not a problem. It's just the way life happens. I heard like three of those drop today in the testing center and made me really nervous. So let's take this one. Say I want to go from negative 100 degrees to radians. So again, using my unit conversion, Which 